Now we're going to cover the mixer section. So we've already touched upon the mixer section, and it's where we can mix in the volumes of our three oscillators and also switch them on and off. So this corresponds to oscillator three, on off, and then volume, oscillator two, on off, and volume, and then the same for oscillator one. We have these two additional options here. Now the first one is an external input volume. So using this mini jack input here, we could actually input any line level signal into the Model D and have it added into the signal chain using this volume control here. That means we could pass any sound we wanted through the filters, for example. So that's really cool, because it means you could use the Model D as an external filter, essentially. Now again, some of these other options relate to Eurat connectivity. So we can actually output the triangle wave from our LFO using this output here, and similarly, the square wave output as well. We can also send a mix of our oscillators to a piece of external equipment, should we wish as well, using this mix output here. Now, other things to notice here is we have an overload option here. Now, if we're overloading the Model D circuitry with the amount of volume, that will go red, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it can add some more saturation and fatness to the sound. Okay, so at the moment, we've just got our basic oscillator one coming in. Let's bring in the noise. So using this volume control here, we can dial in the amount of noise we want to add in there. And we can choose between a pink noise and a white noise. Let's take off the oscillator one output so we can hear the difference. So a pink noise is a kind of low passed noise. So it's not got as many high frequencies. It's not as bright. Whereas white noise is more full frequency and a brighter sound. Now that allows us to dial in a little bit of noise alongside our other oscillators. And noise can allow you to open up a different palette of sounds because a lot of percussive sounds have noise involved in their creation. So it kind of allows you to create a more percussive style sound. It can also add thickness and punch to a sound as well. If I bring in oscillator one, two, and three as well. So I've just layered them and detuned them as I did before. You can hear with that noise, we get a bit more punch than we do without it. So it can really help a sound cut through. Okay, so that is an overview of our mixer section. In the next video, we're going to have a look at our filter section. Thanks for watching.